Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can graph a circle on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. So as you can see from the screen, we're going to do two examples here. So we'll graph two circles on our calculator. And you can also see on the screen that we have the online version of the TI-84 Plus CE. Um, and so it should look just exactly like the calculator that you have if you have the TI-84 Plus CE. If you have one of the other models that is a TI-84 or 83, it should still work for you. All right, so when we go to our calculator and we're trying to graph anything, notice that when we hit y equals, that's what we need to make sure our equations are solved for, y, right? Well, in our standard equation for a circle, we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, right? So here we have two examples and we just wanna solve them for y. That's all we need to do. So let's start off with number one and let's subtract x squared from both sides. Okay, so now we have y squared is equal to 16 minus x squared. Now, in order to solve it for y, we need to take the square root of both sides. Well, anytime we introduce the square root, it, it becomes positive and negative, right? So we have y is equal to positive and, and negative, square root of 16 minus x squared. So in our calculator, we're gonna graph this as two separate functions. For y1, we're gonna graph positive 16, square root of 16 minus x squared. And for y2, we're gonna graph negative, square root of 16 minus x squared. So let's graph these two equations in our calculator, and let's see if we can find a circle or get a circle. So we're gonna do second square root, 16 minus x squared, and then we're gonna go down to y2, and now we're gonna do negative. Remember, this is negative, not this button. This is subtraction. They'll give us an error if we choose that one. So negative down here, and second square root, so 16, now we do minus, and x squared, not x2, x squared. So if you do that, just go over here, delete, and then you can come back and hit the squared, okay? So now we hit graph, and notice we have a circle. It doesn't really look like a circle because of our window. So if we adjust our window, uh, let's make x min, so this is like how far left I wanna see, let's do nine, and to the right, positive nine. And then let's do negative six and positive six. So now we hit graph, and looky there, we got a nice circle, okay? So for this one, we type it in, we can adjust the window. So if you wanna see what that window was again, you can go there. Um, but now we go back to our graph and that's how we can kinda of get, get away with graphing a, a circle on the TI-84 plus CE, okay? So we do have another example, so let's do that so that we can kinda of get good at doing this. So once again, we're gonna subtract x squared from both sides. So now we have y squared is equal to 49 minus x squared, introduce the square root. So y is equal to positive and negative, square root of 49 minus x squared. So in the calculator, let's graph this as y1 is equal to positive, square root of 49 minus x squared, and y2 is equal to negative, square root of 49 minus x squared. Okay, so those are our two equations we're gonna graph. So let's go back to y equals and let's adjust. So we can leave our square root in there, let's just change 16 to 49. And let's change uh, down here, leave that negative, and once again, just change the 16 to a 49. So we hit graph, and it looks like a circle, but our window needs to be adjusted because we do have a, a, a bigger radius here. So let's go back to window, and let's do x min, let's do this just to be negative 10, and x max positive 10. And then for y min, let's do negative 15, and y max, positive 15. Actually, let's switch those. Let's do y as 10 and negative 10, and x, let's do 15 and negative 15. Okay, now we hit graph, and voila, there's our circle. Okay, so that's how you can graph a circle on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.